Uh, microphone, microphone. Yo. All right, number one. Number one. Number one. Computer's frozen, so that's why I haven't written the right answer yet. <laughs> All right. Uh, soup me, number one. Oh, hey. A as in awesome. Yes, it absolutely is A. Number two, Evelyn. B to go from C to D. Yes, absolutely smurfly correct. Number three. What has happened to the skier at point B? C, excellencio. What happens at four? Oops. Uh, from the start of the graph to point B, the skier is increasing at a constant rate. Yep. D. Nice job, everyone. Give yourself a mark out of four. I assume you all got four out of four. Which of these is a linear relation? Well, like the letter. Like, uh, yeah, the letter it is letter this B. one. Yeah. No, no, like the. It's it's like. It's A and B. It's a and B. Which is B. Yeah. 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 All right. Way harder than this. Because if any other one didn't include B, this one's C. There's only one that has B in it. It's C. It's C. <laughs> Which of these is non-linear? D, as in doorknob. These questions are done very poorly by most students. Which is it? A, absolutely right. You must remember that at zero time, you are, you have an output of $5. And it can't possibly be a curve because it goes up 75 cents for every half a kilometer. A curve starts going up more in less time. I really like the graph where you get paid if you don't do it less than like Hey, three you have no idea how many of your peers will circle that one as being right. I wish that was the case. I just get paid. That's in my job. Like, one minute to ask you guys. Uh, what is the domain here? C. Because it's only the X values. Uh, number nine. What describes... The domain here. D. D. Real numbers greater than one and less than three. Because there is no equals on the bottom. And since that R is there, it includes all the decimals and all the fractions. Okay? And all the irrationals and everything. This is a... Fairly easy one. Again, what is it? A, because it is negative 24 minus 2. Oh, man, Taylor, come on. It's like 75 sneezes in a row. How do you have any snot left in there? Is it? That is true. I was thinking of you. I need to call. I always see this twice. 
Number one. Discreet, says Leighton through his scarf. <coughs> I don't like red. I'm going to purple. That says discreet. No, that says discreet. <laughs> there would need to be an accent aigu. Isn't there? How do you spell discreet? That is brown. Americans. Okay, that's how I thought it was spelled. That that does not sound uh, good. Uh, that that looks gross. Yeah. The word discreet comes from discretion, which is spelt T I O N. It's like when Americans spell center center, but then how do you pronounce how do you spell central? Central? No. Central. Yeah, but. You can't do that in English, right? English is not a language that you can argue rules for because of these four letters. O, not O-N, O-U-G-H. Those four letters make English, that's the only argument you need to talk about how stupid English is. And yet all of you have the audacity to say, I can't do French, it's hard. But you all learn English, a language where those four letters somehow never make the sound that they should make, which is oog. Never do those four letters make the sound oog, which is what it should be. What sounds do those letters make? They make the sound off. They make the sound uff. They make the sound o. They make the sound ow, which you spell the same way. They even make the sound up, because that is how you spell hiccup. Yes, that is the proper spelling of the word hiccup. So O-U-G-H makes all of those sounds. And you guys have the nerve to say, French is so hard. Have you seen that picture, the one where it's like with through? Um, yes. Like, like yes. Like, like this like sentence. We wound the bandages around the wound. O U N O U N O U N. Wound around wound. And of course, the lovely contradictions in English as your house burns up, it also burns down. Yes, but English is so easy to learn. Why doesn't everyone in the world speak it? Which is usually what English speakers say. Well, maybe other languages say it too, but we don't know because it's not in English. Other languages should say that because every other language makes sense. Ours doesn't because ours isn't a real language. It's a mix up, mash up of German, Latin, French, Swedish. Which is why when you watch a Swedish movie and everybody's talking in Swedish, you could almost follow it. Without the, without the subtitles. You should. The real girl with the dragon tattoo, not the piece of crap American version of it. The real one. You're Swedish? Borgy, Borgy. All right. Uh, when comparing two quantities, what kind of line is used to indicate one quantity is not changing? A horizontal line. You guys need to be keeping track because I have lost count. <coughs> sure, whatever you say. Number one, what is the domain and range? B? B? Wait, hold up. B? Yeah. Why? Hold up. Yeah. 
Of course you can. Oh, there's a typo. Damn it. Look over there. What's that? What's that out there? What is that? What is that out there, out the window? Oh my. What could it ever be? Now, what was the answer? It's supposed to be C. That is not, yeah, I agree, that's not fair. What? What does the E represent? Like the set of. Set of? X, X can be all the real numbers. Now, almost everybody looks at this and says, well, I can take every single X number in the universe, square it, multiply it by 3, and take away 4, right? So the domain is definitely all real numbers. But... What happens to a negative number? What happens when you use zero? What's the y value? No. I'll try it again. When I input zero to here, the f of zero, what is my output? Negative four. Agreed? When I put the f of one, what is my output? Negative one. Excellent. When I put the f of two, what is my output? It is, eight. Oh, it is eight. Everybody cool? All right. Now, what is the F of negative one? Yeah, you can square a negative. Negative one squared is one. Times three minus four is negative one. What is the F of negative two? It's positive eight. Because when you square a negative, what happens? It becomes a positive. So this graph can never go below negative four. And I made a typo there. Ah. It should have been negative 4. Y is greater than negative 4. So do we get it? Just like that one? Because if it was no, because if you put B, you're totally wrong. That but shows me... No, 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 Byron. You don't have a leg to stand on here. B <laughs> is wrong. If you No, Byron. Did you write B? Yeah. Then it's wrong. But so is C. But that, does, but, but, but that doesn't matter. You put B, which is wrong. Okay? Okay. B is wrong. You could have left it blank and said, Myers, you're an idiot. You have a typo here. But B is flat out wrong. My son has a fidget spinner with the hole missing from the middle. And he was, well, the, the, the thing that makes it spin oh. is missing, but he still has the ones on the outside. Okay. So this morning he was regaling the family with how many ways you could use a fidget spinner without a hole in the middle to kill someone. He's like, look, it's a shuriken. And then he threw it across the living room. And I was like, you're an idiot, stop. And then he said, okay. And then he put it in his fingers, put his middle finger through the hole. And then he said, and it's brass knuckles. I said, okay, boy, that's two things. What else? Well, that's all I've got right now. You can choke on, make someone choke on it. So. That would get all yeah, just shove it down the throat. <laughs> Number two. You can break it and slice your throat and sharpen it. Number two. Number two. Number two. Number two. E as in Edgar. Number three. Number three. No, D is not the right answer. Is it? No, because domain two to thirteen. What's E? Wait. We're waiting for. Isn't it supposed to? Because one says domain and one says range, and they're in the wrong spots in E. Oh, okay. Wait, what? Okay. I didn't notice. Because 
Sometimes they're in different order. Oh, I missed. There goes my screen. Should go one more time. What's three? What's three? A. What's four? B. Describe a possible scenario. Now remember, in the very near future, <coughs> this question will be graded differently than now. Right now, could you get away with the person rode their bike for a while and then rode their bike a little further at a faster pace and then turned around and went home? Would that get you all the marks available to you? Right now? Right now. Right now, yes. Of course it would. That's what's happening on the graph, right? Right? That tells me you know what's going on. Yeah? All right. In the future, knowing what's going on, you will get rewarded for digging deep into what is going on. So, how do you get the four here? What, how many sentences do you need? Three. Three. Give me the first one. For the first 15 minutes, he went two kilometers, and it's so thus an average speed of eight kilometers an hour. He was, he was doing a moderate pace. Away from home. At, if he went fifth, yes, at 8 kmh. Then what happened? Then. Whoa, 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 Lauren. How do you figure 8 kilometers per hour? Because he went 15, uh, he went, sorry, 2 kilometers in 15 minutes, yes? Oh, okay, yeah, I see now. Okay, you got it? So in 60 minutes, he went 8 km. 60 minutes is 1 hour. Okay, what happened then? So Byron gave us our first one. I'm going to change colors because I'm having fun with my colors. What's happening on the second one? Wait, I have to put a purple line in the first one because it's Friday. I'm in a purple, I'm in a, uh, I'm in a, what's the word? I'm full of beans. It's a saying. Anyway, uh, who's taking over? Lauren, hit me. Now, let's say you left this purple answer like that. Does that get you the four? Four shows an advanced and in-depth understanding of the mathematical concepts behind the question. Leaving a speed like that. No, that is not a four. Why? Why doesn't it, Amshiman? I know you can parrot back my words to me. I want to know why. What is wrong with that on the new sort of marking system? Alicia, did you put your hand up or are we just waving? Because I can wave back. It doesn't show up on the microphone, but I'm waving. Blake, what's wrong with it? No. How fast were you going down the highway? I was going... 30 kilometers in 10 minutes? No. We measure time, we measure speed in unit rates by the hour, or if you're in physics class, meters per second. Right? That's what I just said by the hour, <laughs> word for word. Um, anyways. All right. And finally, what color am I going with here? I'm going with orange. What happened in the orange section? Nobody? Oh. Lauren. And then the wiper turned around and headed back to the starting point, which took 20 minutes, and they covered six kilometers, which would be 18 kilometers per hour. That is a four answer. Cool in the gang? Yeah. 
What do I care about? I rode away, I rode faster away, I rode home fastest of all. Okay? Right? I realized right here that my mom had told me to be home by 5 o'clock for dinner. All right. Everybody good? I would make that out of three. You decide how much you deserve. Do not give yourself four out of three because you feel you showed me an advanced knowledge. Okay? None of that. Clowns. At the bowling alley, Angela rented some shoes for three dollars. Cost two fifty to bowl each game. Make the equation in function notation. Cost of x equals what? Two fifty x plus two fifty x plus three plus three. Done. Does anybody need to know why? No. Everybody's got it. Excellent. B, is it a function? Yeah. Why? Yep, because each new input, each new I put, gives a unique output. You know I was going to write output. Yeah, I did. Output. And C. $13. We're going to call that out of four. One for the equation, one for $13, one for yes, and one for the right reason. Thank you. I couldn't make that word come out of my mouth. Alaric and Carlinda. I'm going to say Alaric is purple, and I'm going to say Carlinda is yellow. Is yellow visible? Good. All right. So, which of these lines is Alaric? Alaric. Wait, where is that from? Alaric. That one or that one? That one. Because it's close to the ground and it says so right in the question. So, that makes this one Carlinda. How fast is each balloon rising? Again, chance here to do. Uh, three, one, two, three, or four, yes? Mm -hmm. How fast is, is Alaric's balloon rising? Alaric. Um, are we going to do A oh. first? Huh? Are yeah. That's why I said Alaric. The purple one. How fast is he rising? That's, that's the end point. Yeah. We've done A. Oh, we haven't done no, the initial height. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. Alaric's height is what? 10 and 30. 10, and Carlinda's height is? 30. Excellent. Now, sorry. Uh, that's letter A. B. How fast is Alaric's balloon going up? 15 meters per minute. Right? 1, 2, 3, or 4? Is 50 meters per minute. One, two, three, or four on the one, two, three, four scale. Could you make an argument for four? I find it difficult to make an argument for four, but again, it's based on your knowledge of other subjects, yes? Do we ever give speed in something per minute? No. What is it always in? Kilometers per hour or meters per second, right? So again, you but you could make an argument. Well, it's still a unit rate, Mr. Myers, <laughs> right? Which I would say, yes, it is. Now go out and tell me how fast you're going on the highway in kilometers per minute. But yeah, in this specific instance, though, it's kind of difficult to either multiply by sixty or divide by sixty. So what is it in if I wanted it per hour? Uh, you multiply it by sixty. Multiply by sixty. Which is 900 meters per hour, which would be 0.9 kilometers per hour. Everybody happy? Yeah. Cool in the gang? Yeah. All right. Um, and uh, how fast is Carlinda rising? 10 meters a minute. 10 meters 
per minute. Now, most of you uh, probably did this. At least I would guess. Went up 30 over the course of, sorry, went up uh, 60 over the course of four minutes. Or you checked right here and did one minute and just made a guess that it was 15. Or you recognize that that gives you the slope. One of those three things. Now, a great many students will choose this one, right? And they will see that they went up 60 meters in four minutes. And most kids say that's the answer, 60 meters in four minutes, which is why most kids get a two or a three on this, most likely a two, right? All right, so everyone's cool with that, okay? And finally, uh, determine when the balloons are at the same height. When they're at the same height? 70 meters. 70 meters. I'm aware of that. That's kind of why I try to time it that way. So I get the help of them doing it and you get, they get the help of me doing it at the same time. Flight from Durano to Rome. <coughs> oh heck, let's make the whole thing out of three. You decide. Heckle and Jekyll. Nobody knows who Heckle and Jekyll are. Do any of you know who Heckle and Jekyll are? All right. That sounds that. No, that means we'll have to do that uh, if we have time left at the end of marking this. Uh, what does the graph represent? How far a plane is from real in kilometers to hours. Sure. <laughs> Anything to do with the fact it is writing distance in, in, to get a four, it would be the distance from Rome to Toronto as a function of time. Ah, right? Because it's the time that's changing, because the time is the independent variable, right? I feel like it's adding as a function of time to anything It does make it seem smarter, doesn't it? Anytime you want to sound smart at a cocktail party, boy, that guy's really stupid, especially as a function of time. Then everybody would be like, Oh, oh, quite. You're very intelligent, aren't you? I would like to talk to you more. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, if you it, it, you're gonna get one point for talking about anything to do with distance from Toronto to Rome, right? Really? Yeah. I should do that. That's very important. B. Uh, what is the domain range? This one's tricky. People screw it up all the time. What is the domain? I like to do domains in blue. What is, but I'm tired of that blue. I'm going to choose this sassy blue. Sassy. What is the domain? Lauren? Square bracket zero. Nine. Square bracket zero. Nine. <laughs> Absolutely right. Could she write it a different way? Yeah, zero, zero less than or equal to. H, H less than or equal to nine. nine. Excellent. And of course, H would be a set of what? Sorry. H would be a set of what? All real numbers. Because every single, every single, blah, is there. The plane never disappears. Well, right? You always have to write that. Huh? You always have to write nah. that in no. Future, Maybe we'll... next year in IB you might. Okay. Um, but I've done my bit by showing it to you. I know in IB they use a weird letter for one of them. They don't use the letter that it starts with. They use a Q. Is it a and I think that Q is for all real numbers. But I don't quite remember. Because it's changed from when I was your age. Why do they do that? I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm not a mathematician. I know it's going to really suck for graphing. And math. I know, right? But Laura or Sarah, let's not borrow problems from the future. And the range I like to do in red, but I am tired of that red. Do I have another red? I'm going to choose a different red. I want. 
I you should give it a light one because it'll be hard to see. That red. That one. No, I already have that you red. Do white. The one like there, that's a nice Rose. Rose. All right. Do it just for rose. Range. Well, it does look like a rose. What's the range? It's tricky. Somebody always says this one wrong. Lauren? Oh, Lauren! Zero. Always put the little one first. Zero. Uh, distance. Distance. Seventy-two hundred. And again, D is a set of real numbers. Now, this, of course, shouldn't have been H. Yeah, no, I know, I know. That's why people do it wrong. But the color is nice. I'm glad the color is nice. I'm glad you approve. And last one. What is the last one? What's C? Yeah, Zoodle. About four hours. It does look a little like the word Zoodle. Zoodles are animal noodles. I think we have like five minutes. Come on, tell all your friends. Tell a whole bunch. I just ate a hippopotamus for lunch. It's the commercial for Zoodles. You don't remember that commercial? What was that air? All right. Maybe 